Welcome back, budding biologists, and in this episode we're going to be exploring the process of DNA replication and the significance of this process in keeping genetic information exact when copied. DNA is key for all cell division as system chromatids need to be created for division via mitosis or meiosis. If you want to explore cell division in more detail, ensure that you check out the episodes on these topics. The process of DNA replication is run by enzymes. Recall back in year 11 where we explored how enzymes are the biological catalysts responsible for chemical reactions within cells. The process of DNA replication utilizes a range of enzymes with highly specialized functions. It utilizes helicase that unwinds parent strands, binding proteins for stabilization to keep those strands separate, primase to add primers to mark the beginning of replication, DNA polymerase to bind nucleotides from the parent strand to the complementary strand. Exonuclease removes the primer and replaces it with DNA bases and ligase that joins up and tidies up the fragments. The first step to replicating DNA in the double helix is to unwind the molecule and separate it into two strands. This is completed by the enzyme called helicase and it creates a fork between the strands. Once the strands are separated and unwound, they move to the next step, which is replicating the DNA. The two original strands are called the parent strands, and the new created strands are called the complementary strands, due to complementing the parent strands. The enzyme that identifies the nucleotide and matches it to the appropriate complementary nucleotide is called DNA polymerase. The first key concept that needs to be understood about DNA replication is that it only replicates in a direction for 3' prime to 5'. Prime. This means that the enzyme DNA polymerase works in the direction by making one strand the leading strand and the other the lagging strand, due to the DNA being anti-parallel. To review that structure, check out the episode on DNA structure. The leading strand has DNA polymerase bind nucleotides in a continuous and steady fashion. The process of the lagging strand, however, uses the enzyme primase to lay primers to mark the beginning of the Okazaki fragments. The DNA polymerase then matches nucleotides to the parent strand in fragments, about 1,000 to 2,000 nucleotides long. These fragments are called Okazaki fragments. Following that step, the DNA polymerase 1 digests the RNA primer and replaces it with DNA nucleotides. And then DNA ligase comes along and joins those fragments together. The final step is to rewind the DNA molecules into the double helix structure. The helix structure then rewraps around histones to become a pair of chromatids in preparation for cell division. From this episode, you'll be able to describe the key steps in DNA replication, unwind, replicate, rewind, and outline the enzyme role in each stage. But why is it important for DNA to be replicated exactly? We need to understand that incorrect replication results in mutation, so matching the wrong nucleotide to the parent strand in the complementary strand will result in changes in the DNA code ultimately affecting the expression of those genes in the organism. These changes in DNA sequences then can be passed on to offspring, but we'll explore these concepts in more detail in a later episode. See you next time, budding biologist.